Microsoft recently put a challenge on their blog to make a video discussing something I wish I knew when I first got started with Power Apps. Now my tip for this challenge is going to focus on environments and your development cycle. Here's the situation. I got into Power Apps a little over a year ago and I began making many Power Apps for use across my company. But it didn't take me long after I had a few Power Apps in production use to realize that updating these apps was going to be a problem. As I'm building the app, I need to test it. And while some testing can be done in my web browser as I'm developing the updates, sometimes I couldn't fully test the changes without publishing it for my mobile device to pick up. But when I publish that set of changes, it goes out to anyone who's currently using the app, along with any bugs or layout issues that didn't surface while I was testing in the browser. What I needed was a way to have a development environment separate from my production environment where I could work on the app, publish it as needed for mobile testing, and then when I was all done, push it to the production environment for my users. So what I did was create a community plan environment. Here's how you can do that too. First, you need to go to this URL. Click on the existing user create an individual environment link. Then you need to sign in with your Office 365 account. All you have to do is accept the agreement and you're brought into your maker environment. But if you look up in the corner here, you'll see it says your username's environment. And you can switch environments by clicking on that and switching to your production environment. This gives you a sandbox that you're the only user that has access to this. So you cannot share any of the apps that are sitting in this environment. But what you can do is fully test them out. You can publish them and they'll show up in the Power Apps app directory so you can test them on mobile. And then once they're all done, what you would do is export the app and any attached flows, switch environments to your production environment, and then import the app package. That way you have your development environment separate from your production environment.